PlayStation 1 was released in Japan on December 3, 1994 and start a new era of video games. It became the standard for the 3D era and many series were born there. Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Tony Hawk, Metal Gear Solid and many more. In today's video we will show you how you can emulate these on your Steam Deck, which is very easy and also how you can add CRT rescale in the emulator to copy the look of old TVs and get closer to the 90s gaming experience. We will also show a few tricks like how to quickly save and load your game using the emulator, which is very useful when playing PS1 games because many PS1 games did not have checkpoints back then or you had to use special codes to load positions. Let's start by downloading Emudec. Emudec is a simple program that organized all your emulators on the Steam Deck. It helps you short games by emulator, set up different process, manage BIOS files and shaders. Basically, it's the foundation for all your emulators on the Steam Deck. You could run emulators without it, but it's more complicated and things won't be as well organized. On your Steam Deck, switch to desktop mode. From there, open a browser and type in Emude. Once you are on the website, click download. Scroll all the way down and grab the version made specially for Steam OS. After the downloading, just open the app and install it. It's important to write down where you install Emudec, because we'll need it later when adding BIOS files and games. Also, decide in advantage if you want your games on internal storage or SD card, depending on how much space you have. Even though PS1 games take very little space, it's good to plan ahead. Now, let's download the emulator itself. For PS1, we use DuckStation, which is the probably the most versatile option. Open Discover, type DuckStation and install it. Once the installation is done, we'll need BIOS files. What are BIOS files? BIOS files are extra files the emulator needs to run games. They belong to Sony, so emulator creators cannot include them in the installation package. You have to download them separately. I can give you the download link here because YouTube would remote it, but it's not hard to find. Just Google PS1 DuckStation BIOS files and you should be able to get them. To make sure you have the right files, here's what they look like. I have four files, but the most important are these three, which ensure games compatibility for Japan, USA and Europe. Now, copy the files and move them to the needed folder. The good thing is, thanks to Emodec, we already have a pre-made folder for BIOS files for all emulators. This folder is called BIOS and it's inside the emulation folder. You can find it based on where you installed Emudec. Either internal storage or SD card. Here are both possible paths. Now, let's check if your BIOS is active. Open Emudec. You might need to go to a few settings on the first launch. Don't worry, it's not complicated. Then go to BIOS section, where you can see which BIOS files are active. For PS1, you should see your active BIOS is here. You can also check the status of other emulator's BIOS files. It's a good idea to do this so you are sure that if game doesn't run, it's not because the BIOS was copied incorrectly. Now, the emulator is ready and we can add games. I can show you specific website here, but it's very easy to find them. The emulator supports several formats and today I'll show you how to add games under the so-called Redump name. When the game suddenly appears on your computer, it looks like this you have a zip file, inside which you will usually find two files, bin and q. You simply create a new folder with the game's name, drag the files inside and extract them. This is the original zip file, and you are done. The wolf folder just need to be moved into the folder in Emudec. We'll transfer our games from the computer. Unfortunately, you cannot connect the Steam Deck directly, so the best way is to use an external hard drive. I don't recommend a USB flash drive, as I have had experiences where it damaged files. For the external drive, you'll need an OTG adapter, which you can buy for a few euros. We drag our game folder into the folder made for games. You need to find the emulation folder and then a ROMs. You locate it depending on whether you installed Emudec on internal storage or your SD card. Here are both paths. 
Inside the ROMs folder, you'll see a bunch of folders named after the different consoles, emulate, organize and sort your games this way. For each emulator, so we just find the PSX folder and place our games there. Now, let's start our emulator. If an icon didn't appear on your desktop, go to button left corner and open start, type backstation, right click on it and choose create desktop shortcut. Start the emulator and you should already see your games. If they don't appear, just click on start a file and manually find them. And now we can see that our game has started and we can hear that beautiful magical sound of PS1 startup. Anyway, before we take a look at the settings you can adjust in games and how to enable CRT effect, we first make sure that Tech Station can also be launched in gaming mode. So, let's open Emulec. Let's run Steam ROM Manager. We have all emulators checked that we work with and they will show up in the library. I recommend checking only the ones you actually use to keep things organized. Click on add games, then on parse. Now you can see the game I have in the emulator, like Resident Evil 3, Nemesis or Nightmare Creature 2. I recommend changing the cover art, they look really nice, and then click save to Steam. Now we have everything ready and I'll show you some useful settings. Open Duck Station, click settings, hotkeys, Expand open pause menu and choose a key to open the emulator menu while playing. This is useful so you can make emulator saves while playing, because many PS1 games don't have proper saving or checkpoints. Click on a game and choose properties. Now we see the game settings. There's a lot of here, but we won't show everything. It's not needed because PS1 games run great with default settings. So I'll show you just a few things. Go to graphics. Here, if you open internal resolution, you can increase texture sharpness, for example, five times better. We make the game much sharper, but remember, PlayStation games were made for CRT TVs. And it was good for resolution to be a bit blurry, so pixels didn't show much. For some games, it's fine to increase sharpness, for others not. You need to test, I'll keep native resolution because we will add a CRT effect. Switch aspect ratio to 16.9 and check PGXP geometry correction, which fix some texture errors. Next, go to post processing, check enable post processing and click add. You'll see many shaders. My favorite CRT shader is new pixie, but, but you can choose another you like, I recommend trying several. We should have the setting ready. On the Steam Deck, go to Gaming Mode and here you can see our Duck Station. Your PS1 games should also appear, but they don't always show, Emurek doesn't always work perfectly. That's ok, just open Duck Station in Gaming Mode and double click to start your game. Now we can see how the CRT shader looks. For me it looks very good, I like how the screen got the curved old TV effect. Now I'm playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, which I think is one of the best PS1 games and still fun today. Press the Steam Deck pad or another key you set to open the emulator menu and here you can save your position. This is very useful, when you start the game just press the pad, choose load state and you'll back in the game in seconds. And of course, it makes playing more enjoyable. PS1 games are very hard and Resident Evil it freed up on one inventory slot because normally you have to carry an ink ribbon to save the game. I hope this video helped you relieve some childhood nostalgia. If you want to play PS2 or PS3 games on Steam Deck, you can watch one of my full guides on my channel. It's very simple. Also, please click subscribe on my channel. I share tips and tricks for Steam Deck, game topics and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it.